everyone, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square and this week I'm going to show you how to take the mystery out of doing mitered corner quilt block squares. Here's one with mitered corners, kind of a cool little design and once you figure out how to do it it's very easy. It's another one of those kind of patterns that if you take a couple of simple pieces and you sew them together and then you cut them apart and sew them back together in a different way, you got a whole cool looking block. And these look a lot more difficult than they are. And they're very impressive looking in a table runner or a placemat or a quilt. If you had a whole quilt full of these things, very cool. So we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and we're gonna learn how to do mitered corner blocks. Let's go. Okay, to make mitered corner quilt block squares, they're very easy once you get the basic concept down. I'm going to go through quickly three different variations so you can get the idea of how you can vary things and still get really good results. I'm going to start with only a three stripe block and for this one I'm using strips that are two inches wide and five inches long. Um, now this will work with other sizes but it, this, this particular one is two inches by five inches and I've got four of one color and eight of the second color. So what I'm going to start by doing is for each of these four bigger bold print, I'm going to sew with very nice, careful quarter inch seams. I'm going to sew one of the smaller prints to each of these along the long edge. So we're going to do some quick sewing over here. It's very important that your seams are nice accurate quarter inch seams so when you're putting together the mitered corners everything lines up well. So I've got them all pressed open. I'm going to take the remaining four pieces of the smaller print and I'm going to sew them to the other side of the bigger print like so. So I'm going to go sew those make sure we do nice accurate quarter inch seams again. Now I've, I've pressed them all open and I want to point out that on the back Rather than pressing them both towards like this darker color, I'm pressing everything in one direction. And that will be explained why that's a good thing to do as soon as we do some cutting. Okay, now this is one of those um, quilt patterns that is one of those cool things that if you start with some simple blocks and you do a little bit of cutting and sewing back together, you get something really cool. So that's what this is. So what I'm gonna do is go cut these up and I will be right back and I'll show you what I cut. All right, so I cut up the block. So you started with four little squares and each one is made up of three stripes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two of these squares and you're going to cut them like so, from lower left to upper right, lower left to upper right. And then you're going to take the other two squares and you're going to cut the opposite. You're going to cut lower right to upper left and lower right to upper left, just like so. Then you're going to trade pairs. I'm going to trade this one with this one and I'm going to sew this to this and this to this. And then I'm going to trade these two. I'm going to sew this one over here and this one over here. So now I'm going to go and sew those together on the diagonal. And when you sew the diagonals, make very sure that your seams line up in here. Those two lines and those two. And this is why we did all this, the ironing, pressing this one this way because then the other side gets pressed this way and they nestle beautifully. So you pair them up like this and you sew all your diagonal lines. Quarter inch seams, very accurate. I'm going to press these seams open and once again I'm pressing them all the same way so every one of it's pressing the same way. So after you put those together you've got four squares that look like this just like this. So what you do with these is you sew them together in pairs this one and this one so your middle big print is meeting each other and you just sew those two squares together. Now we have two pieces like this 
Let me turn them around. Sew them together. And there you have a square with beautifully mitered corners. Now, in looking at this, I can see that it's not all that much of a big contrast. So my next sample, I'm gonna show you with some better contrast because this is not all that exciting. Um, also, I wanna point out that this was done with only three stripes on your fabric. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to use five stripes of fabric. So we're gonna take these colors here and we're gonna do five stripes of fabric and I'll show you how that works. So we'll set aside our smaller one. And these are also two inch strips, but this time they're two inch by eight inch. And I'll explain the thinking behind that in a minute. But what you have to understand, and it'll be more obvious in this one, I need four of the, my bold pattern and eight each of the other two. Whenever you're making any of these kind of squares, when you want them to look nice and uniform, like there's a square within a square within a square, you have to make the block has to be uniform from either direction. Like these are going to have to be like this. They have to have one of the, this color on the outside, followed by this color and this color in the middle. You can't mix them up and go like this or anything. It has to be the same from both directions and meet in the middle. So you have to use an uneven number of strips. You can use three strips, five strips, seven strips, nine, whatever you want, but they have to be so they match like this and come to the middle with the same color. And you can also vary the width as long as it's uniform. Like these could be two inch, these could be one inch, this could be four inch, but they have to be uniform from both directions. So for these, we're going to sew these two pieces, the ones that you have eight, eight pieces of, we're going to sew these together in pairs. And remember, these are two by eight inches. So we're gonna sew these together in pairs. Okay, I now have eight strips like this with, with two colors on it. Then I'm going to take these pieces and sew them to half of them. All right, now we have four strips like this. And we still have four strips with only two pieces. So now you have to sew this one to here so that they're uniform from both sides. You got dark print, light print, bold print in the middle. So we're gonna sew all of those. So this last one ends up in the middle of every square. Now we've got, okay, now we've got four squares like this and we're going to go, I'm gonna cut them all in diagonal. I'll be right back. Okay, just like with the smaller squares, here was our five stripe square and here was another five stripe square. And we cut two of them this way, lower right to upper left and two of them this way, lower left to upper right, just like that. And then what we do is try trade them. We take this one and put it here, and this one and put it here, and sew those together diagonally. When you're sewing these diagonal seams, be careful not to stretch the fabric as you sew it because diagonally the fabric does have a lot of stretch. So just carefully line up your, your seams and just help the fabric along, but don't pull at it. I'm gonna go iron these open. Now you have four squares that look like that. And if you were doing careful quarter inch seams, your corners should line up pretty good. Most of mine do. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. So now we're gonna put these together like so in pairs and sew two pairs together. So these two, and these two. And now I'm going to sew these two halves together. And then we will have a big, beautiful block. And there you've got a big, beautiful mitered corner block. And see how easy it is to make these mitered corners like that, big ones, little ones, three stripes, five stripes. And I'm gonna do one more quick one to show you what it looks like if you use different widths of um, strips. So I've got eight of these and eight skinny ones and four of these. And these are um, these are two inches wide 
and these are one and a quarter inches wide and they're all six and a half inches long. And the length is determined by how wide they would be after you sew these together. Because I'm going to put, well, let's see what I'm doing. I'm going to put these like this and one like this, because remember, you always have to work in an uneven number and you always have to work uniformly from both sides towards the center. So after I've got two inches, two inches, two inches, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, after they've sewn all their seams and everything, these will be three quarters of an inch, these will be an inch and a half, but since the outside edges are not used yet, you gotta add a half an inch to that, which means these pieces, when they're sewed together, will be um, six and a half inches wide, so it has to be six and a half inches long. So I'm gonna sew these together in pairs. I'm gonna sew all of these to these little strips. And we're gonna set the, the bold ones aside and we're just gonna sew all eight of these. And we'll just whip through this one really quick because it's the same process as the other two, just varying the width of the strips. Now I'm going to sew our center strips to this stripe right here on the, on four of them. Now we sew our other pieces to the opposite sides of these center pieces, like so. Now we have four blocks like this, and I'm going to go cut them. And I'm going to so once again, I cut two of them this way, lower right to upper left, and two of them this way, lower left to upper right. And you're gonna swap out the pairs and sew them together diagonally. And make and sure you don't stretch the fabric when you're sewing diagonally because it is very stretchy on the diagonal. You're more than happy to stretch out a shape if you let it. And there you have it mitered corners all the way around. And like all of these blocks, I recommend when you get to that final seam, it's probably best to um, press that seam open just because there's a lot of bulk right in that little corner there. You can even cut these little guys off if you want. But there's your square. So I hope I have demystified mitered corners for you, and I hope you will give it a try. Just start with three squares, three, three stripes, five stripes, whatever you want. But remember, the main three things you have to remember is it has to be an uneven number of stripes. Um, you have to have the same going from both directions. So it's like color A, color B, and they meet with C in the middle. It has to be the same like that. And your uh, seams need to be accurate quarter inch seams so that all of your little lines end up even. So that's about all there is to it. Go have some fun. So now you all know how to make mitered corners. It's kind of a cool little design, makes a pretty neat looking flock that looks a lot harder than it was. You can see you start with just some simple stripes, cut them apart and sew them back together. An awesome method always for making interesting looking blocks. And just to give a little recap, the smaller ones um, that were two inch the strips were two inches by five inches and when you do three pieces like that it ends up to be an eight inch block after the edges are sewn into something right now it's eight and a half inches but it would be an eight inch block these pieces like this one were um six and a half inches long and both of this one well this one anyway um were two inches one and a quarter two inches these were two inches one and a quarter two inches one and a quarter and two inches. And they were all six and a half inches long. And this will end up to be a 14 inch block. It is 14 and a half inches right now because it's still got its two quarter inch edges. And this great big one I made was all two inch squares, two inches by, I believe, eight inches. And when it's all put together, it was going to be a 14 inch block. And play around with sizes that you like to do. Um, just remember, they have to be the same from outside to inside because when you're sewing the 
two reverse halves together, if they're not lined up, they're not going to make it a whole square like that in the middle. So um, do that and make sure you have to use an uneven number of squares of stripes so that there is a middle stripe on each one and um, accurate quarter inch seams. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it took a little bit of the mystery out of mitered corners, which can sometimes be a little intimidating looking. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to um, be notified when we have new videos. Hit the like button. And um, remember that we put out a new video every Saturday. So we'll be back Saturday with something new. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.